Call of Duty Ghost looking so fresh and clean like a new bag of chips. What is going on, guys? This is your boy, 17K Dog, and I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys about Call of Duty Ghost. What is Activision and Infinity War bringing to the table this year as far as the newest first-person shooter from this genre from your fellow gamer? What's going on, guys? All right, let's talk a bit about the multiplayer and what they've done to bring an overhaul from the old Call of Duties and from Black Ops 2. Me, personally, I feel as though it's it's so good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> I saw the graphics and, and I was just like, <laughs> my eyes, my eyes, they're so good. <laughs> no, but graphics don't make a great game. You know, if you're going to have great graphics, Okay, any game can have great graphics, but it all boils down to the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, me personally, when I play Call of Duty, it all boils down for me because I'm a gamer. Online gamer, actually. And for me, it boils down to gameplay. If the game is, you know, being played or it's running the way it should be, then I love it. Like Battlefield 3. But we're not here to talk about that. Alright, let's get into some stuff with the multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer has, we're going to name like a couple new game modes and maybe one map. I didn't really see this, um, the live stream of the multiplayer reveal like that, but I did see some stuff. So let's talk about this. Okay, current to customizations. No longer will you be bounded by the default profile skins that the, they normally give you in Call of Duty. Being like, hey, we can't tell each other apart. We all dress the fucking same. It's like, in previous Call of Duties, everybody was just basically a fucking twin. We all dressed alike, we all looked alike, but we ran different gun classes, that was it. Now, this year is something totally new, and it's something totally out, you know, fresh, out the pack, like a fresh can of tuna. Now, <laughs> it's, I'm just saying. So, now, you'll be able to customize how you look as a player how your soldier well not necessarily saying how your soldier acts but it's changing how your soldier look and feel of the game now you can customize your helmet your your body wear even your your body type <laughs> what body types now we got fat people with twinkies running around in call of duty oh man shit about to get real about to be that twinkie swollenness <laughs> nah <laughs> Um, but you can pretty much customize things that you want it to be. The only thing that I wish that they would have brought over was the emblem creator from Black Ops 2 because, you know, I like standing out and I like having kick-ass emblems. If you watch this gameplay, you actually see my emblem, which is on my gamer tag 0179 for PSN. If any of you guys ever want to play some zombies, let me know in the comments below. So we got these new character customizations and the new class setups. Now, we are no longer bounded by the pick 10 system from Black Ops 2. We now have the op the option of not running a secondary and running up to 11 perks, ladies and gentlemen. 11 perks. Can 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 I get a can I get a woohoo? Can I get a holla? 11 fucking perks. Do you not know the jankness that I can create? And, and, you know, it's been so long that we as gamers on Call of Duty have been bounded by this. Because, you know, COD 4 days. You know, you can only have three perks. And it's like, now. Now. Now I can make as many <laughs> as many broke jankness as I want as far as perks wise. Man, they made, they turned Call of Duty Ghost into Subway. I'm about to pick 11 different perks. And I'm about to eat fresh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, I really enjoyed what they've done with it. Okay, so let's get in. You know, they got the whole character customization. And for the first time, we get to play as female character models. Yes, all you wonderful girl gamers, holla at your boy out there. You finally get to play as a girl, a female in Call of Duty. Not only will you be able to control the battle with a gun, but you can also control it with a vagina. What's up? Uh, <laughs> nah, but it's, it's really cool. So let's get into the game modes. Three, I have three game modes, which is search and rescue, which is like search and destroy, but with a little bit of kill confirmed. If you die and you drop your tags, 
if your teammate picks up your tags, you get revived. But if an enemy picks up your tags, you pretty much have to wait and respawn on the next round. Next, we have cranked. So apparently, the more you're the more you're cranked, the bigger your erection. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what it, what the game mode is? You have to kill in order to stay cranked. And you have a 25 second clock after your first kill. You're given a 25 second clock, and you have to do you have to get your next kill within 25 seconds. You got to keep moving, and you got to keep getting those kills. So the longer you're cranked, the more points you get. But if your timer runs out and you have not picked up another kill, you explode and your points reset back to zero, and you got to start all over again. And the new one is I kind of forgot what the new one was. Um, oh my god, is that is on the top is on the tip of my tongue. Um I can't remember what it was. I'm I'm really just pretty much running through my notes here. But you know, kill confirmed is back, which I really do like. Oh, let's get into another aspect of multiplayer. Another aspect of multiplayer that they brought back from MW3 is the assault specialist and support packages from which you ran on MW3. We all knew you know, support was a little bit of overpowered. You know, you did if you don't die and your score streaks don't reset. What the hell? <laughs> I hope you know. I hope it's the same thing for Call of Duty Ghosts, because I really would hate to run support and you die and everything reset. That'll be sucky as fuck. But then again, you know, you gotta make it fair for the people to play. So, alongside of that, is the multiplayer is looks really good, and they did a live match for it. And I really enjoy the live match. Like, the graphics, the gameplay, everything is so smooth, so clean. It's so good. I don't know, man. I might change my mind at getting Battlefield 4, but nah. I'm going to get both this year. And you guys are going to see me on the PS4, PlayStation 3. It's, it's going to be awesome. You know, by the way, in the middle of this commentary, I'm going to say give this video a like. Or thumbs up if I made you laugh, made this entertaining, made this informational for you guys. And if you enjoyed this commentary, don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It's free. It only takes five seconds, people. And at the end of the day, it'll make me greatly appreciate it. So, <laughs> um, there's so much new stuff with the multiplayer. But I looked at the trailer, and within the trailer, I think I actually saw an invisible player. Can we finally go Predator on this bitch? Like, what? We can finally go Predator. Yes. I think I saw an invisible player. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's one of the perks he was running. I don't know. But, also, we got some new Juggernauts in there. We now have a um, return of the Juggernauts. The Juggernauts now, well, one of them is called Juggernaut Madness. And you run around with a knife. Yo. That's perfect for only using me blade. No lie. And I'm pretty sure he had fun there and, and you know he played with that. So guys, this is what I have on a multiplayer. These are my opinions. I think it's gonna be good. You know, it's a new game engine, new overhaul. So if you guys like this, subscribe. Peace. More videos coming soon.